Good evening. You're watching the news from Bahrain Television. I'm Marie Claire. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Qudaybiyah Palace today. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Their Royal Highnesses reviewed international economic developments and their impact on the local markets and confirmed that Bahrain is looking forward for its people's contributions in the economic development process, highlighting the importance of combining efforts to develop the trade movement. They also pointed out the role of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and its historic contributions to the commercial and economic development. Their Royal Highnesses highlighted the importance of continuing this role, stressing that the commercial and investment movements are witnessing increasing development based on a solid foundation of legislation and laws that keep up with different international changes. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Qudaybiyah Palace today. Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, several members of the representative and Shura Councils, and senior state officials in the presence of former representative Speaker Khalifa Al Dahramatni. His Royal Highness confirmed that Bahrain has been able to build an updated comprehensive legislative system that meets the demands and requirements of the modern world for all sectors. He said the government serves the best interests of the country and its people by enhancing cooperation with the legislative authority through partnership, saying that Bahrain's approach throughout its history has been consultation and partnership with the people. He confirmed that the government welcomes legislative monitoring in line with governmental parliamentarian partnership to achieve the best interests of the country and its citizens. His Royal Highness highlighted that economic development through the current challenges require a doubling of efforts that ensure increasing trade and investment in all sectors. He pointed out the importance of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry's role in pushing forward development and supporting the government's efforts to avoid any dysfunction that could affect the economic and progress of the kingdom. The meeting also discussed international issues and challenges where His Royal Highness the Prime Minister warned that there are those who aim to harm the nation's security, stability or development by spreading chaos and tension and confirmed a firm stance against any interference in internal affairs.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudebia Palace today Abdullah bin Hindi and Sons, congratulating them on the Golden Jubilee, the establishment of Bin Hindi Group. The Prime Minister commended the role of family companies as an important pillar for the national economy and their ability to achieve high levels of administrative and financial success, which reinforce their competitive capabilities both locally and regionally. He confirmed the government's support to businessmen and the private sector through providing the needed facilities for investment in, on an open atmosphere. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of the Bin Hindi family as one of the oldest commercial families in the kingdom, expressing admiration in their economic success in various fields. He highlighted the contributions of commercial families which support the government's development efforts, stressing the necessity to combine efforts of the public and private sectors to achieve the best interests of the country. For his part, Abdullah Bin Hindi expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his support to the private and commercial sector in the kingdom which embodies his vision in backing all efforts to develop the national economy. He also stressed that His Royal Highness's support to the commercial and family companies encourages them to continue their efforts towards more achievements in an atmosphere of trust. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today at Qudaybiya Palace the regular cabinet meeting. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The cabinet commended the stance of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries and the Arab League and their support to all measures taken by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia against terrorism and the blatant interference in international affairs of the region's countries, which are against international norms and conventions. The Cabinet congratulated the wise leadership on the 19th anniversary of the establishment of the National Guard and highlighted its tremendous efforts in protecting the Kingdom's security and stability. The Council condemned civilians' starvation and the inhuman siege in Syria and confirmed support for the people of Syria, calling on the delivery of humanitarian aid to lift their suffering. The Cabinet commended the efforts of the Health Ministry to provide all necessary medications and health care in all hospitals and health centres and directing the, the Housing Ministry to take all needed measures to implement the housing projects in Jenasan. The meeting also discussed major developmental projects and the measures taken to increase facilitating companies' registration and the volume of investment to contribute in developing and diversifying the economy, in addition to following up the recommendations of the Executive Committee in regards to reducing recurring government expenses. A number of memorandums submitted by the ministries and ministerial committees were also discussed during this week's cabinet meeting, which included the cabinet's approval of a Ministry of Energy memorandum regarding amendments to petrol prices. The new prices set premium petrol 95 octane at 160 fills per litre and 91 octane at 125 fills per litre. The Cabinet expressed support to the measures the Kingdom has taken to address fiscal challenges in the light of unprecedented drop in oil prices, noting that the steps taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain are similar to the actions taken by many countries, including within the GCC, in order to achieve fiscal stability. The Cabinet also approved a draft law to ratify the agreement between the governments of Bahrain and India to combat terrorism, organised crime and illicit trafficking in drugs, narcotics and psychotropic substances. The meeting approved a draft decision related to regulations and the use of security surveillance cameras to limit crime and expose criminal suspects in a timely manner. The Cabinet also approved a memorandum related to stopping financial aid and bonuses for convicts and individuals wanted on terrorism charges. It also approved a proposal to establish a committee to more closely monitor the operations of trade organisations and charities. The Cabinet reviewed a memorandum regarding a draft decree to amend Decree 5 for the year 2013 regarding the establishment of the Supreme Council of Health. 
It approved a memorandum regarding the government action plan and the publication of its ongoing progress and discussed publicizing the progress of the GCC development program and its major projects which will contribute to sustainable economic development. The cabinet also took note of a number of draft proposals by the representatives council. Following the meeting, Minister of Information and Parliament Affairs Isa Al Hamadi held a press conference in which he outlined the issues that have been discussed during the cabinet meeting. He said that Bahrain is not isolated from the region's countries, highlighting that the aim of the recent decision is to sustain the financial status for the best interests of the people. He highlighted that there are numerous major developmental projects and economic initiatives to lower oil dependency. Minister of Energy Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza also took part in the press conference in which he expressed the reasons behind the amendments of gasoline prices in the local market. He said the Cabinet's decision is part of the government's wide-ranging programme of structural economic and fiscal reforms, which will further strengthen the country's long-term development. The Energy Minister noted that the decision will contribute to addressing current fiscal challenges faced by Bahrain as a result of the unprecedented drop in global oil prices, which has seen the price of oil per barrel decline by, 60 by over 60 per cent. He said following the decision, the National Oil and Gas Authority issued a statement in which it said that the price of premium petrol, 95 octane, will be set at 160 fills per litre and the price for 91 octane will be set at 125 fills per litre. The new prices will come into effect tomorrow, Tuesday 12th of January 2016. The Energy Minister said that the action announced follows similar steps taken by Bahrain's GCC counterparts and that the amended petrol prices would be similar to prices in other GCC countries. Dr Mirza also noted that the price of petrol has remained unchanged for 33 years and that the amended price would promote efficient use of energy sources, have a positive impact on both economic on the economy and the environment and contributes to the Kingdom's long-term fiscal stability. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa on Bahrain achieving the first title in the Indian Open MMA Championship organized by the All India MMA Association under the supervision of the International Mixed Martial Arts Federation from January 8th to the 10th on the sidelines of Body Power Expo. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the role and directives of His Majesty the King in developing the field of youth and sports under His Majesty's reform project. He also dedicated the achievement of their Royal Highnesses, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Khalid held a telephone call congratulating KHK MMA team on their titles and their significant performance. He also thanked the organizing committee and the fighters for their efforts to reach this accomplishment. He congratulated the representatives of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa on the achievement and praised his role and the role of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports in contributing to this achievement. He also lauded the plans of the government in making further developments in the field of sports, affirming the team's keenness to set strategies that aim to bring further accomplishments to the kingdom. He extended appreciation to All India MMA Association in contribution to the success of the championship, wishing them success. And now it's time to hand you over to Bara with the latest in business news. Good evening, Bara. Good evening, Mary Claire. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain TV. 
Bahrain was share index closed today at 1,199.36 points, an increase of 6.63 points above last closing. This increase was in the commercial banks, investment and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks, representing 57% of the total shares. 50 transactions took place with a volume of 1,090,722 shares, worth 251,687 Bahraini dinars. Alba posted a sales of 951,944 MT in 2015, marking an increase of 2.2 percent compared to 931,526 MT last year. In addition, Alba managed to close 2015 with its value-added sales averaging 64 percent of the total shipments compared to 66 percent in 2014. Alba will release its full year and fourth quarter 2015 financial results to the public on February 18. As well as upload the presentation on its investor relations sections at albasmelter.com. And now it's time to hand you over to Fatima with the latest in sports news. Good evening, Fatima. Good evening, Mayor. A very good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain Television. Al Najma defeated Mharag 3 2 in a thriller, while Al Nasr downed Psaitin 3 1 during the second leg of the Bahrain Volleyball First Division League, played last night at the Bahrain Volleyball Association Sports Hall in Rifa. In one of the most thrilling matches this season, Al Najma needed five sets before defeating Mharag for a fitting follow up to their win in the first leg. In other matches, Al Nasr defeated Psaitin 3 1. Al Nasr remained third with 18 points, while Al Najma is fourth with 16 points.